All right, let's study for the CCMP and CCIE Enterprise Core exam. I need to renew my certifications, so this is what we're doing. All of the content in this slideshow is based on the official cert guide for the exam. Now let's go. So first, let's talk about network device communication. Now the primary purpose of a network is to provide connectivity between devices. So really what our job is, is to enable applications or devices to communicate with each other. This is a good thing to understand even from a business perspective when we're working with networks. Now today's networks, almost everything is based on TCP IP. And in turn, TCP IP is based on the conceptual OSI reference model. Now, if you've studied networking before or worked in the field, you've most likely heard of the OSI reference model. It is so famous and legendary. So the OSI model is composed of seven layers, each with a specific function and independence. So what I mean by independence is that each layer works separately without affecting the other layers, if that makes sense. It's perhaps easier to understand if we actually look at the OSI reference model. So let me go to this Wikipedia page. So right here, you see the layer architecture presented in this beautiful, colorful diagram over here. So starting from the top layer seven, which is application layer and going down all the way to layer one, which is the physical layer, you can see all the different ones in here. And if you hover over these, you get a little bit more information. And as you see on the right hand side, the function of each layer is described briefly. Now, as network engineers, our main interest is in layers two and three. And that's what we'll be focusing on this and the following lessons as well. Here, the layer independence is also presented by using slightly different colors for each layer. So to give you an analogy, if you think of this OSI model as a Lego stack, you could replace any piece in that stack, change the color, and it wouldn't affect the other pieces in that Lego stack. That's how I like to think of it, at least. So in the same way, if we were to replace or change the function of a layer somehow, it would not affect the other layers. It would be limited to that specific layer only. All right, let's go back to the slideshow. Now here, as I've already mentioned, most network traffic involves communication of data between applications. And the data moves between the layers when it is processed on the same device or sent to another device. That's actually another thing I could show you on the OSI reference model. So if I go back to that, this page right here. So when the packet starts at the application layer, it moves all the way down these other layers. And whether it's um, processed on the same host or sent to another device, uh, it decides how far down the packet has to be processed. So if the communication is between different applications on the same host, the packet would remain in those host layers. Whereas if the packet had to be sent to another device, it would have to go down all the way to layer one, which is the physical layer, the actual bits that are sent to the other device. And those are marked by the media layers on the diagram at the bottom. Again, let's jump back to the slideshow. So to quickly put together the first slide and your main takeaway from this lesson, 
is that the network enables communication between applications and different devices. To give you an analogy to contrast to human anatomy, the network can be compared to the skeleton or the nervous system. So the network allows signals to be sent on a plane and allow things to happen as a result. That was a very mysterious way to describe it. But what I mean is in a similar way that your brain sends a signal to your hand to pick up something, the network can allow two devices or two applications to communicate and perform different actions. The other thing to remember from this lesson is, of course, the OSI reference model and the seven layers. You will see those everywhere within the context of networking. So that's a wrap. Let's move on to the next slide.